over the last couple of weeks, I've had several people in live chats asking me if I would do a video detailing the firearms that I am most looking forward to at SHOT Show 2020 this year. So today, I thought I would do just that. So let's take a little time here and go over what are the top five firearms that I, the Yankee Marshal, am looking forward to at SHOT Show. Now, I want to say a couple of things before I get to the actual list. One, the Colt Python is not going to be on this list. They're already in the stores. I don't have to wait the SHOT Show to see or shoot them. I've already had several in my hands. So that gun will not be on the list. Secondly, I want to give an honorable mention to one gun before I get started. And that is the Taurus 642M. I think most people that know me know I am not the least bit interested in anything 22 long rifle. All these guns that are coming out chambered in 22 long rifle, none of them will be on this list. But the Taurus is something that does catch my interest because it's 22 Magnum. When you get into 22 Magnum, I'm far more interested, especially in revolvers, especially if it's a Taurus revolver, because a Taurus 22 Magnum 10 shot revolver was the first handgun I ever bought myself as an adult. So I am very anxious to see this 22 Magnum revolver at SHOT Show. I think this will be a great addition to the concealed carry market, especially for people that are recoil sensitive. Now that I've said those couple of things, let's move on to the list. Number five on the list is the M&P Shield EZ in 9mm. Smith & Wesson first came out with the Shield EZ in 380, and it's a pretty amazing little gun. I've actually given away a lot of them through the TYM Triple P. They are awesome little guns. The only problem I had with them is that they were 380. Now they're available in 9mm, and if this gun is anywhere near as good as the 380 version, this will be an awesome addition to the concealed carry market. I'm very anxious to get my hands on one of the new M&P 9mm Shield EZs. The next gun I'm very excited to get my hands on is the Ruger 5.7. Now, I am not the biggest fan of the 5.7 round. I've always thought it was a, a solution to a problem that never existed, but I am glad to see more guns coming out in this caliber. Up until now, you've pretty much had the FN as your only option for a handgun if you wanted to shoot the 5.7, but now you'll have another option, an option that doesn't seem as plasticky and as poorly put together as the FN 5.7 does to me. I've owned two of them, never been happy with them. I'm hoping I'll be happier with the Ruger, so I'm very interested in getting my hands on the Ruger 5.7. At number three, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised. It's the Dan Wesson DWX. Now, I am really only interested in the full size, not the compact, because the full size has the steel frame. This gun is like the perfect melding of a CZ75 and a 1911, or at least it could be the perfect melding. It could be a disaster. It could be the worst of both guns put into one gun. But I'm hoping it'll be the best of both guns put into one gun, so I can't wait to get my hands on the Dan Wesson DWX. The next gun that I am extremely interested in and I am definitely going to purchase as soon as I can is the Henry 410 Axe. This is a mare's leg lever action 410 shotgun. So I am extremely interested in this. Can't wait to see it at SHOT Show and can't wait to buy one for myself. All right, now we're to the number one gun I'm looking forward to at SHOT Show. And to be honest, I don't even know if it's going to be at SHOT Show. The company that says they're going to be importing them hasn't stated whether they're going to be at SHOT Show or not. But I would think if you're going to be importing something this desirable, you'd want to have it shown at SHOT Show. And what I'm talking about is the Mataba 6 Unica Automatic 357 Magnum Revolver. A domestic company has says they are going to start importing this gun again for the U.S. market this year. So if they're going to do that, I'm hoping it'll be at SHOT Show and I'm hoping I can get my hands on one because to me, this would be an even bigger deal than having the Colt Pythons available again. Having the Mataba available would be like a dream and I would really like it if they brought some of the other Mataba designs to market. But for right now, I'll be really happy with the Unica. So I hope it's at SHOT Show. I hope I can get my hands on one and I hope with when they do come out, they're affordable enough that I can afford to buy one because that's the number one gun that I want to get my hands on this year. So there you have it. There's my top five guns that I'm looking forward to at SHOT Show this year. These are the ones that blow my skirt up. Let me know, which ones do you like? Do you like these ones? What do you think of these ones? Let me know in the comment section. And also, let me know which guns you're most looking forward to at SHOT Show 2020. And that way, when I get there, maybe I can take a look at them too.